I am Joan Stewart, and this is Montgomery Presbyterian Church in Montgomery, West Virginia, which is in the southern part of West Virginia, very near Charleston. It's where you'll find that on the map. This is one of four locations of the work camp ministry called West Virginia Ministry of Advocacy and Work Camps. From now on, we'll refer to as MA because it's a whole lot easier to say. That. We formed in 2002 as a response to 2001 flooding in southern West Virginia. And um, what we do is disaster recovery. We are a very ecumenical um, response and ecumenical ministry because we have teams from every denomination that, that are part of us and um, in fact we have college teams you can notice on some of the walls where college teams have, have done graffiti on our walls and stuff here uh, we have college teams that regularly come here for spring break we have Notre Dame students that come here in uh, the spring and the fall as part of what they do for um, a class called Appalachia. This is their immersion piece. So they come in, they learn about Appalachia and the challenges that we have in this area. And uh, students will actually come here and we immerse them and abuse them for the entire week so that they learn and they build relationships with people. When we finish doing a lot of the flood work in areas, the prevailing disaster remains poverty. So we help older people who have no way of getting the work done unless they count on a faith community. We help people with children. It's not the child's fault. No matter what's going on, children need um, a way to have a home that is warm, safe, and dry. So uh, we're able to bring home repairs to these folks. Um, people that just can't afford to get anything done unless they count on a faith community. And so that's what we're able to do if we're not actually responding to a flood disaster. The disaster of poverty continues to prevail. When we bring in a college team, they don't have skills, you know. Sometimes this is a hammer. And, you know, and other times we've got folks that kind of know what's going on. Um, we are blessed with um, these site supervisors, these guys with endless patience. I mean, they are able to teach people that don't know what these tools are and what they're for. And they're able to teach them so that they're able to learn a new skill. We abuse them. Oh my goodness, we abuse them in so many ways because, you know, we've got them digging mud out. We've got them putting up sheetrock. We're doing stuff they've never done before. Out in the cold, we had folks carrying garbage, you know, Stuff has to be done. It's not going to be easy stuff. And yet they find a blessing in all of it. It's a perspective changer. They learn a different perspective. But it, more than every nail we drive, it's building relationship. They get to meet the people that they serve, and they realize that it makes a difference for them to be able to be there and to to learn about them and realize they may be very different, but there's a piece of us that we're all very much alike to. We have a clothing closet, and this has been in place for lots of years. Some people just drop off clothing, just tons. We have to put up signs, not more. But they drop off clothing, and um, people come into this clothing closet on Tuesdays. It's free. They can take a garbage bag full of clothing out of here, and it's free, and we want them to take it because we got plenty more to replace it with, but the, the clothing is free, and um, it's staffed usually. The food pantry and the um, clothing closet are, are staffed by people from other churches in the area. And these women, like the women's groups and women's churches, they just come in and staff it. And we have other volunteers that put out the clothing during the week. <clears throat> but um, the... Um, we had a volunteer, this is a couple of years ago, we had a volunteer that complained. She says, same people come back here every week. They don't need clothing. This is just a social thing. And I went, yeah, absolutely. It is a social thing. Of course it's social. We've got this whole big fellowship hall. And um, why don't we, um, we have coffee, you know, what can we do? So I went to the folks in the church and I said, okay, um, why don't we offer something to them on Tuesday mornings? And, and one of them says, well, people won't come. 
I went, they're already here. Somebody else says, well, they'll take advantage. And I went, well, isn't that the point? And then somebody else says, we do enough for those people. And I said, I think God weeps when we say that. That just tore me to the heart. So every Tuesday, we would have a new mission group in, a new way, create radical hospitality. And this is what they did. Well, at the end of the summer, the people that are coming every Tuesday said, now what? Mission groups aren't going to be here. So what, what's going to happen now? And I said, you know, I'm really not real sure. And they said, can we do it? Can we help take over and do the coffee? Yeah. There is nothing better than for us. You know, ministry isn't doing something to people. It's with. <laughs> Advocacy is doing things um, on behalf of those who cannot do for themselves. And one of the things that we are involved in in advocacy, of all things, is wastewater treatment. We were doing disaster recovery in Welch, and as we were mudding out the houses, we began to discover that it was more than just mud that was in the houses. 67% of the um, residences in McDowell County straight pipe water directly into the rivers and streams. This is 2009, and you're going, isn't that illegal? Yeah, it is illegal, but when it was originally done that way, you know, it's basically grandfathered in. Can you do that now and build a house and straight pipe it? No, but when it exists, when there is no other system for wastewater, then that's allowed to exist. One of the things that um, we, along with several other grassroots type organizations, engineering folks, EPA, DEP, all of these things, we joined together a coalition called the um, Wastewater Treatment Coalition of McDowell County. And some of the folks are folks that are right there in the county and some of us come from other places. And we meet the first Wednesday of every single month and have you know, since they set this up. What can we do to make a difference? We have a plan in place for every single household and business in McDowell County to either be hooked up to existing wastewater treatment or find an alternative. Mission is more than doing something to people. I don't think mission is necessarily having a food pantry where we give you a bag. I don't think mission is necessarily just having a clothing closet where we give you people clothes. I think it's all about that relationship. This is who we are, and this is more important than driving nails and building something. We're, we are building something. We're building something in everything we do.